Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marquita. So glad that you could join me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. So we are doing a checklist of sorts on this video. I decided to create a party checklist for Addison's party. I am having a flamingo graduation party for her and I have a jumbled up mess of notes and I want to uh, kind of get it all in order. So I thought to create a checklist and um, kind of write out what I need and what I have and so I can get my thoughts together. So I thought, why not film the process? I was just gonna actually work in my craft room and just kind of create this sheet, but I I just decided to turn on my camera last minute so hopefully you guys enjoy this video I'm trying to do more planner DIYs on my channel like I used to so if you guys are new here to my channel and this is your first time stopping by hopefully you enjoy it here so much so that you'll consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it so let's jump right in and create this party checklist if you want to see that make sure to stay tuned so I'm doing a party for Addison it's next Saturday um, in August the first weekend of August and so I met with my girlfriends who are gonna help me um, you know I've done so many parties over the years that sometimes I just want help and so I enlisted my girlfriends um, uh, actually my girlfriend and her daughter and I'm actually having it at their house because they have a pool and it's gonna be a pool party and so they have been helping me out tremendously and um, but I still have so much to do so I'm gonna create a, a, a checklist uh, so that way I can see what I've done and what I need to do and what action items remain the theme again is flamingos the food is gonna be tacos and margaritas so it's gonna be super cute hopefully and so um, this is is my brainstorming ideas I've got a lot of things already done off of this list but I just want to write it all out in a way to where I can look at it it inspires me and it's not so much of a mess so I have happy year here because it's got lots of flamingos and things in here and then I have the color story which is always a classic to have on hand I also did not turn on my lights I have been doing that a lot lately not turning my lights on because I just feel like sometimes that natural light just gives you the look that you need so that is what um, I've got going on right now. So I went ahead and whited out the bottom here. It said um, um, something about notes or noted it or I don't know something it said at the bottom. This is from one of the back to school, I think, accessory packs. Uh, I can't remember what it said at the bottom. I really want to let you guys know what it said. Oh, it said just some thoughts. So I covered that up with my Tombow adhesive, so um, I didn't have to see that at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some flamingos out just to kind of get everything going and um, add a little bit of decor at the bottom. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to pull from this sticker book is flamingos and that sort of thing. The decor that goes along with that. And there's going to be lots of gold elements at her party it's just going to be a really cute party hopefully it all turns out the way i think it will in my head and um and she has a really good time so i'm going to put this flamingo down here in the corner and then i'm going to add some leaves here and there And I'm gonna need a lot of space for writing. So I'm not gonna do too much sticker decoration. It's gonna be, majority is gonna be white space to write or stickers that I can write on top of because I, I'm gonna need a lot of room. So I need to cut off the excess. All right, so we've got our start. And I think I might add a couple more here at the bottom. And maybe a little flamingo. A baby flamingo. <laughs> okay. So let's make sure that's all we want. Oh, maybe a pineapple, because it's gonna have elements of pineapples at her party as well. But I don't know if that will flow. 
No, I'm not gonna do any pineapples. Okay, so I think that's all from this sticker book. And then I'm gonna pull some colorful boxes since it is a gold themed party as well as you know pink and gold and white. So it's gonna really be um, super fun as far as colors are concerned. But I do have these other stickers I may wanna use. So I got these from Michael some time ago and I hardly ever use them and they have glitter. So I'm going to figure out what I want my sections to be before I start laying anything down. I want a section that's going to say um, Addison's party maybe and then the theme and then the budget and then the date and time and location. So let me see. All right, so I'm going to pull the alphabet sticker book so I can write Addison's name. A D D I S O. In. I have to make sure I have all the letters I need because I use this sticker book quite a bit. So I'm surprised I have this many left, but I do have two of these sticker books, so maybe that's why. All right, so now I decided I want another leaf there at the top where I put party. Okay, so now we can get this thing going. Where's my gold boxes? All right, so here we go. So the first section is gonna be for theme. Let's see, do they have a little box in here? I need it to be slim. It doesn't have to be like super long or wide. I just need it to be like kind of like this. But I'm not going to write let's on there because I didn't write flamingo. So, can't write it now. Okay, and then I need to make something for the date, time, and location. So we got the date, time, and location. So now we need to know the guests. So let's break up this color because I don't want it to be all gold. I can even go back into that. The sticker book to see if there's something that we could use as a checklist. Okay, so I just wanted to look in here and see if I could find, yep, some boxes that I could use. See, this one has a flamingo on it. 
So let's see if I can use this as the guest list. And not everyone has confirmed yet, so I probably will not be putting that in just yet. Because I don't know who's all attending because everyone hasn't confirmed yet. So I'm just gonna put a sticker there to let me know that that is what this is gonna be used for. I'm gonna write it just really super tiny. It's not gonna be a big deal, but there's not that much room there. And then let's see what else we wanna do. All right, so we need um, some, I wanna call them for like things I need to pick up. But first I'm gonna do food. What food items do we need? So let's see what I wanna use for that. So we've got that done. So now let's see what else we need. Definitely need a to-do list of some things I need to buy because I've got a lot of things I still need. Okay, how about this big box? There's a big box. I saw this one right here. So let's do this one. cover up the flamingo though but I want it to be a different direction than that other box okay now I'm gonna get another one thing right there which I'm thinking is going to be a circle sticker and I'm not going to write anything in there I'm going to put some decor there All right, I decided to add some pineapples in here because I feel like I need to bring some yellow in. All right, I need something from here that says to buy. So let's see, I think that matches the color scheme, right? Okay, to buy, perfect. Okay, so we've got our guest list, we've got our to buy, we've got our details. I need a to-do list as well. So that's the shopping list. So this is going to be, I yeah. 
all right and this so this is going to be just like random to buys and this is going to be for like food and stuff okay so we've got the front done so we can move on to the back make sure i got everything i need all right so we can move on to the back and this is just i believe is going to be like a random or not a random but a to-do list because i've got a lot a lot a lot of things i need to do and so i'm just going to put just a big old checklist for to-do list something in here that says to do that matches with the color scheme yep this one does and then I want to have a little box over there of what I'm gonna do for favors just need a little bit more here so I'm going to see if I can pull another one of these decorative boxes here that go with the whole co color scheme thank you cards and who I need to thank and then this space I'm thinking is just literally going to be for more notes and things I don't want to forget how about we do that don't forget like things I need to bring from home you know because I have a whole bunch of stuff I already have that I don't have to buy but I do need to bring it I've got like chairs and things like that that I need to bring from here that I don't need to buy so I don't want to forget to bring that stuff so let's find one more sticker that we can put on the back there to track that stuff and I'm thinking this peach would work out great even that green but I want to tie some more peach in or bring some more peach in so we'll do the peach. So I'm gonna put one here. And then is there another color I can bring in yellow? I need to bring in more yellow. Yellow is not gonna be found in here. love to add a palm tree but I just feel like it might be too much to do that hmm. maybe it won't be all right that worked out perfect so I actually can start writing some things in y'all if you want to see that part of the process as well. I feel like I want to add a circle sticker up here. Like I did it on the other page and then I put something in the box. I like that. 
Let's see if I even have anything because I used almost all the stuff I had in that color scheme. I have a leaf. That works. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So now that we have both sides done, now I can go ahead and start writing in some things, taking it off of this and putting it on this list. So a lot of this stuff I already have. Okay, so when it comes to the guest list, I'm not going to write that in because, again, it's not confirmed. I know I do need to purchase some, what do I need? I think I said I needed an easel. I need some pillows. I need to order the, I need to order the cupcakes. And I also need to order the, the margarita mix. I need juices for the kids. I need water, ice, taco, shells, meat, plus toppings. And there's lots of other stuff that I'm sure I'll need, so I'll just add that to the list. I normally just, I'll put a comma. It doesn't have to be like in a, in a row. I can just put it next to each other and I'm okay with that. Um, so, um, I need napkins, plates, silverware, and that's all I can think of for now. And I also need cookies, milk. watermelon all right and I'll fill the rest of that stuff in later okay so again guest list will be filled in later to do I have to spray paint some hula hoops blow up the balloons And I'll have to figure out, um, this is going to be a whole bunch of things I'm, I'm going to need to add there. Um, I don't feel the need to write it all out here. And then for favors, she's doing... Alright, I also probably should have had a place for activities. But I feel like since it's a pool party, they're probably going to be in the pool the whole time, you know? So... So of course I want to thank my girlfriend and her daughter and then I'm sure there's gonna be lots of other people who contribute to this process um, I don't want to forget my camera my Canon selfie because we're doing a photo booth um, plus the ink and chairs And again, there'll be other things that I'll add there, but I just wanted to transfer the majority of this stuff over to here and I think I've done that. So I'm super excited about this party, y'all. Um, I was even thinking of adding a journaling card. I brought them out, y'all, but I didn't even think to go into them, so I didn't bring uh, put one on here. That would have been cool because then I could have flipped something up to see something underneath, but still would have had space on top. But I feel like this is a good spread, a good layout for that. And I feel like I do have a lot of space here to write things in. So that is it, guys. That is my party uh, checklist for Addison's flamingo themed party. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below and let me know if you want to see more DIYs like this. I miss doing these DIYs. So I'm looking forward to doing more of those on my channel and kind of getting things back to the way they were 
before with my DIY game. So hopefully I can get that going uh, more often. So again, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Make sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's super cute like I do? I'm so excited for her party. I can't believe she's going to kindergarten, but I guess she's got to grow up sometime, right? So it's bittersweet, but I am excited for this party nonetheless. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel to catch another video. Hopefully you enjoyed it so much so that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and also stopping back by my channel for another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.